Well, folks, it's taken me some time. I wanted to show you my new sound booth, uh, vocal booth, homemade vocal booth. Uh, <laughs> charity shop furry jacket that uh, Holly didn't want. Um, but it's like, you know, just a fur jacket. I decided to put on around the cape of it to incorporate the soundproof if i put my face in there a bit it might sound quite dead because that's what it's meant to do that's acoustically dead foam that's on the walls of the rest of the studio elsewhere it's fallen off the walls and it's in a pile and i thought i know what i can do with that because they're about 100 pounds for just a very cheap one to buy off the internet um and if the vocal uh, uh signal path that gets recorded is much clearer when it's uh, apparently <laughs> I've never done it yet, uh, but uh, much clearer and easier to work with. If you have it in sort of anechoic, is that the word, or you know, like a dampened chamber of some kind. So basically, that's all that, that is. It's just there, velcroed on to full tiles at the back, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then I've cut some pieces already. There were all, some were already cut, and I've cut a small chunks like pack it out at the sides a bit it's a bit pathetic and needs modification uh <laughs> i want some i want some bracing around the back of it really you know sort of like a bit of wire that would perhaps uh almost like body shape uh to fill the coat out <laughs> excuse me coat out so i can pack it a bit more um neatly and uh, so it looks better as well and, and there's perhaps more covered and more space as well I think it'll make more space around the mic and I've done it. that's my pop shield of course sort of thing. and uh, that's on, the mic's on a mic stand but the uh, uh, booth it was built on a speaker stand that's actually spare I bought two and I only had one amp and it was for the amp, so this this one is actually spare. It can be used for this permanently, really. Um, certainly at the moment. And uh, the main problem I had, the most difficult part of the whole build, was fixing something that would be upright on top of the speak on top of the speaker stand to uh, elevate it above and so it would have enough strength to support it although this is all very light as well but I eventually put a bolt and a a coach bolt and a, a nut on it through a piece of wood that fitted to another <laughs> oddment I had lying around a sort of cut, uh, like a fixing piece to um, the top of the stand and I've gaffer taped the wood a little bit up as well so it's slight because it was falling away that way a bit but that's like quite reasonably straight and sturdy so that's all that is at the top a piece of wood and in the top of the wood the very top of the wood I've drilled a hole and shoved would you believe a coat hanger upside down I cut the end off so there's just that the wire ones, the wire type, so there's just the screwy bit where it winds around to make the hook. Uh, cut it off there, so then screwed that into the <coughs> hole in top of the wood quite effectively. Uh, well, quite quite sturdy, it's quite all right. You know, sturdy as far as a, a wire coat hanger could possibly get, you know, obviously. And then in the end, I finally, eventually, just put two further ones uh, at right angles to it, hooked onto the brace cross piece of the central coat hanger to pad that out up the art like of the sides of, of and, and, and into it sort of like a a bulk make them give the, the coat some bulk the jacket some bulk as i say i think i'll need to modify that a bit really because it's it's already sort of caving in a bit there now as you can see and but it's, it, it stands i think it's all right you know and uh, i mean i do believe as I say, they're about £100 for a very simple box standard one that just fits to a mic stand, a uh, farting aluminium one, but all prepared and cut and uh, pieces made for it. But this is, 
you know, easily, uh, I'm sure it's bigger, and I think it'll probably cost twice that, uh, if not a bit more, to buy something like this. And it's quite cool, I think, as well, you know. <laughs> Um, the arms are all like, coming out at the back a bit, it's like a bit of a builder, bicep builder um, <laughs> appearance at the moment. But that's it, that's I'm quite pleased with that. I'm just hopefully test it in a little while, see what the sound quality is like. I've just tied that, that's one of those pound shop ties wrapped around there to just hold the mic stand into the speaker stand it was a very flimsy mic stand and uh, it was falling forwards a bit so it's a bit more sturdy now and that's where it was and I've just put an SM58 on the end you know like a dynamic mic uh, like a, a, a stage mic a live mic on the end where the uh, condenser mic previously was on that mic stand that's trained through the middle of mid table where the computer is so there you are. <laughs>